gang, we're uh, back on Reverie. Uh, it's been um, some pretty uh, trying weeks, last uh, two, three weeks. Uh, we had to spend time getting ready for Ian, uh, Hurricane Ian. Uh, we had to get our house ready, we had to get Reverie ready, and then in the, in the middle of all that, um, my mother-in-law, uh, Kuzi's mom, got uh, ill at the hospital and as soon as uh, the storm passed and the airports opened, we had to head to Puerto Rico uh, to help uh, the family with uh, that, that situation. So um, I got back uh, about a couple days ago. Uh, Kuzi's still down in Puerto Rico. Uh, so please uh, keep your prayers uh, on for my mother-in-law and uh, hopefully she'll uh, recover. Uh, right now we're we're dealing with this on a one day at a time basis so uh, not happy times but it's uh, all part of life things that we have to to deal with so uh i'm i'm sleeping on reverie tonight i have to get her ready we're moving out of uh, regatta point marina uh tomorrow morning so i have to get as many of the lines the double lines and the this kind of the stuff we did for hurricane prep uh, taking care of so tomorrow uh, I gotta go pick up John who's a, a friend and neighbor and he's gonna help me take Reverie back to uh, our home marina which is uh, over at Tropic Isles in Palmetto so uh, I'm gonna take advantage and uh, get some work done uh, try to get a, a maybe one or two little projects uh, completed here in the cabin and um, you know, get ready to go home tomorrow. So uh, we should have uh, a light breeze. So it should be fun to you know get out of the marina and crack the sails open and have a little bit of a sail and a relaxed uh, time uh, going out the Manatee River and uh, towards the Gulf and um, and see how we do. So, uh, but first I'm gonna go get a bite to eat. I'm starving, and when I get back, I'll start showing you around. Uh, with what we have uh, left to be done. Right now, everything is kind of a mess because we have to tuck everything away for the hurricane and uh, now we gotta, gotta get everything back in its proper place. I'm going using the connecting pier uh, to get over there the restaurant, see if I can get a bite to eat. It's nice and quiet. Beautiful sunset. We had some rain today, so because everybody's tucked away <laughs> or uh, or not here, one or the other. So. Uh, this is one of the few marinas that still allows uh, liveaboards on the west coast of Florida. So it's pretty nice. It has some good services uh, all around. Part of the reason I'm moving wherever is because uh, they're going to start construction on the side of the marina that we're in. And the only reason I got that spot was kind of as a favor um, from the dockmaster. Uh, he led me Move Reverie there for a couple of weeks um, until we got the seawall done uh, back home. So now I can take Reverie back. So as you can see, Reverie's a little bit of a mess. Uh, we have a Quarter berth with the, the engine davit, and uh, we have uh, our project boxes, our all the lines that you know we use for the hurricane, the wood we're using for the galley. So I need to get this uh, squared away um, so I can sleep tonight. So um, can I get the galley uh, up and running? But uh, it shouldn't take too long. Um, you know, a couple hours tonight uh, should be pretty good. In the morning, coffee ready. We got our kettle going. Eventually, that will be somewhere over here on that 
backside. That's our new uh, induction cooktop. Uh, it's 1800 watt, two burners. That's gonna go over here uh, as soon as they can finish building the box for it. Here we got our morning coffee. Coffee. Nothing better than the morning coffee, <laughs> especially in the water. Uh, much better out here. Got our sunrise on the works. Sunrise today is at uh, 7:30 this morning. We had a little bit of a fog warning. And uh, this is kind of some of the stuff I started taking out of the, the cabin so I can get everything squared away. So I'm gonna remount and put away these things where they belong. Um, so at nine o'clock, uh, gotta go pick up John and then I'll, we'll be on our way. That's a nice view of the Manatee River. That's Bradenton on the other side. We're in the Palmetto side of the river. Right, so I'm going to remount uh, the grill back on the half rail just to get it out of the way. Um, <clears throat> when I took it off, I noticed that the, the screws were kind of dry. So a little trick is to put a little white lithium grease and this should keep things protected and um, working smoothly. So I'm gonna, gonna clean the screws, put a little bit of grease, and that should make it easy to get um, put back in place and it'll protect it long-term. Send this to the grandkids. Right. <laughs> right back. Get an MRE out. So we're back. Uh, I got River back in our spot. Um, I'll, I'll show you a little bit. The marina is still uh, in their construction, but they, they let me bring the boat back just because of our, our family situation in Puerto Rico. So in case I had to take off again, um, I don't have to worry about Reverie uh, uh, being at the other marina where they're going to start doing some work. But a uh, smooth trip, uh, not a lot of wind, so we can do some sailing, so motor most of the way home but uh we're back and now i can start uh working on the windows and finishing up some of the remaining projects i had left on reverie so with that folks if you enjoy these videos uh please click on the link below subscribe to our channel we're sharing everything we're doing with reverie and we'll be sharing our our trips as we uh start doing those 
So uh, we're pretty close to being done, at least all the stuff we need to get going. And uh, we're looking forward to having our, our set of adventures out at sea. So thank you so much for watching and see you in the next episode.